guys, it's Katie. So today I'm finally updating you guys on my 2017 temperature blanket. So I'm sorry I haven't really had an update on this in a while. I haven't updated since August because I was like four months behind since I was so busy doing the craft fair stuff that I just didn't have time to update you guys. I was doing the monthly updates and it just, I got way behind. So the last few months I've just been hurrying up and crocheting where I was behind and I finally finished it. I think it's January 6th, so I'm not that far behind, but I did finish it. And this thing is massive. Like, it is way bigger than I thought it was going to be. I probably should have made the blanket a bit wider. Um, I don't remember what stitches I started out with, but it did turn out pretty gigantic. I'm going to show it to you guys in just a second. For the month of December, we've been having really cold weather here in Ohio. It's been like 6 degrees, so I did get to use a bit of my purple color. Um, overall, I think it's really cool to see how the blanket turned out. I wish that it wasn't so big because it is so heavy. Like, lifting the blanket, it is so hard to lift. Um, but before I go any further talking about it, I'm just going to show it to you guys real quick. So I have it laid out on my floor and it barely fits. So let me show it to you guys really quick. Alright guys, so this is my floor. This is my temperature blanket laid out on my floor. It is so big. <laughs> like, I don't even know. It's probably like 10 feet long. But right here is where January began. So we go from January down to like February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and all the way back down, oops, all the way back down here to December. December where it got really cold. Overall though, I think it looks pretty amazing. Turned out pretty cool, but it is humongous. Let me try to hold this up for you guys just so you can see how big it is. Okay, my camera is zoomed all the way out. I'm gonna try to lift this up. It's I know it's not all gonna be in the frame because it's just so massive. Ugh, it is so heavy. Like I don't this is like a blanket big enough for ten people. Like, when I hold this up, this is only half of it. It's still going, guys. Yay. Oh! I need, like, three people here to hold this for me because it's so big. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. It's just, like, a giant thing. <sighs> okay, so that is my temperature blanket for 2017. My sister's suggested that I fold it in half and kind of sew up the edges so it's like the size of a normal blanket which I might end up doing because it's too long it is so long um definitely probably if I did straight stitches again I would recommend doing a longer chain so that it's wider and probably using single crochets because I used half double crochets and I didn't think it would be this big but it was so oops. I mean you can also stop halfway through the year and just make two separate blankets but I wanted like the whole year in one so I might end up sewing it. I was going to put like a pretty lacy kind of border around it but that would take 300 years and I wasn't about that so I just kind of left it as it is. I weaved in all the ends um, but I really like the way it turned out. I think it's uh, really fun to kind of see how the weather changed throughout the year. I am doing a temperature blanket again for the year of 2018 because I just had so much fun doing this one that I had to do another one. Um, I'll be uh, telling you guys about that one in a separate video so keep a lookout for that in the next couple of days. Um, but yeah, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. If you guys were also doing the temperature blanket with me, be sure to tag me, hashtag SwizzleMonster on Instagram so I can see your guys' completed uh, temperature blankets because it's really exciting to see what they look like. If you guys are joining me in 2018 a little bit later to make another blanket, then keep a lookout for my 2018 videos. I will be trying to update once a month again with this project. Let me know what colors you're using, what kind of pattern you're using for next year. But yeah, that's about it for this video. So 
Also, be sure to subscribe. I upload every Wednesday and Saturday, and sometimes, once in a while, there's videos sprinkled everywhere. But, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next ones. If you want to make a temperature blanket, I do have a whole video from last year about getting started and what to expect, and I will link that video up in the cards so you guys can watch that. Um, I will also link the entire temperature blanket 2017 playlist down below if you guys want to watch that and see the journey of this blanket. I had a lot of fun making it um, and I look forward to making a new one in 2018. I have some cool ideas but that'll be for the next video so I'll see you guys then. Bye!